Hi everyone, this is Gyo again. Today's lecture is training number 11. So let's take a look at the main importance. Measure the GDNTs and how to apply MMC. First, let's look at the datum. So datum A is here, which means we're going to have to do the leveling with the cylinder. And datum B, which is the rear surface of the part for rotation. And datum C is here which is the top surface of the part but as you can see here perpendicularity is constrained so it has to have an axis so we're gonna have to do the translation with a plane so after setting up the alignment let's measure the datum D first which is the 30 diameter circle and after measuring datum D and measure the circle at the center for evaluating concentricity and after that let's take a look at this angularity so first measure a cylinder for this part and you can see the reference degree and also apply the MMC so I'm gonna show you how to apply all of them and then the next one datum E so datum E is a cylinder feature and the feature is also constrained as a perpendicularity and datum A is the reference so first measure cylinder for datum E and then measure another cylinder to evaluate this parallelism and apply datum E as the reference so let's take a look at the practice so first measure cylinder for datum A and level in And then measure datum B as a line for rotation. And then measure datum C as a plane for translation. So after setting up the alignment, first measure datum D. An input nominal for the diameter and the measure the circle in the center to evaluate concentricity. So you can see the actual value is way too high because the reference is PCS so double click the icon and apply CR1 now you can see the actual value is changed
and measure the cylinder to evaluate the angularity. So to open the result of cylinder, result out the attribute. Click the angularity and double click the icon of the angularity and set the datum B, which is the line one. And then you can put nominal degree and click OK. So now you can see the actual value and input the tolerance zone. You can see the reference and the nominal degree. Then measure datum E as a cylinder. Applying the perpendicularity. And then measure another cylinder, applying the parallelism. Open the result and apply parallelism. Change the datum reference and input nominal. So that's it for the training number 11. Now I'll be back with you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.